Here are tips to recognize your fertile days and when to time trying to have a baby, because some of them might be misleading. So the first signal that most women rely on is the ovulation pain, and I just want to clear up some confusion. The ovulation pain that you feel doesn't necessarily mean that ovulation is occurring right now. It just means that something is starting to be active in your ovaries, but it doesn't specifically mean that this is the exact time where the egg was ruptured from the ovary. So when you feel the ovulation pain, I still recommend to continue trying to have a baby for at least two to three more days after you've felt that pain. Another change that you might want to follow is on the days leading up to ovulation, you would see a change in your vaginal discharge meaning you would notice more liquids. So these are the days that you want to start trying, but it's not the days when you stop trying. You actually stop trying about two to three days after you've stopped seeing that cervical liquid. So yes, counting two to three more days when you don't see the cervical mucus anymore. Any type of liquid is considered fertile in this window. So don't just rely on whether it's egg whitey or sticky or not any kind of liquid yes it's always damp so we don't want to just check dampness but any kind of wetness is considered fertile so you still want to try and you want to try two to three days more after you stop seeing that liquid a few more subtle changes that you might notice is that your sense of smell becomes heightened as well as your vision and hearing you get amazing good hair days and your skin is glowing you feel in your center and you feel your muse and you feel energetic and this is a time that you're thriving. Ovulation tests might also be useful but they're a bit tricky because you always get a faded line and you just want to make sure that when the line is the same as the control line or even darker that means that that's when you've ovulated but you always need to check twice a day from noon forward so not as pregnancy tests where you use the first urine of the morning once you see a positive ovulation stick, you still want to keep trying for at least two days after. So that's something to keep in mind too. Yes, your temperature will rise, but it will rise after you've finished ovulating. So that actually tells you when you can stop trying. It doesn't tell you when you can start trying. And you want to see three consecutive days of temperature rise in order to know when to stop trying. You need that thermometer to have two decimal places after that dot in order for it to be accurate. So it's a special type of thermometer that you can buy separately online. And you need to measure it first thing in the morning before you wake up 2 p.m. before everything else. So as you can see, it's a bit tricky and it's only if you want to know when to stop trying. So these are my tips for you. Just taking it all into account. If you have a 28 day cycle, you should just start trying every other day starting from day 10 to day 18. I've noticed from my experience that most times women either start too late or stop too soon. So you need to just widen that window, do a little bit before you think you should and stop a little bit after you think you should. You can create a calendar where you mark the days where it's recommended to try and place it somewhere that both you and your partner can see and then you both know that you need to set your intentions right for tonight and be nice and loving to each other and lastly my last tip for you is to really call that soul to come through when you are in bed both of you to really set your intentions to invite that soul to come through I even like to guide couples in creating an energetic contract to really call that soul to come. So if you want to see more about that, you can check my other videos.